Hey everyone, welcome back to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Alright, so in the last one, we went on our date with Matt. Oh, we finished it rather. We started that date two episodes ago, but we finished it last episode. And we got a nice batch of compliments from him. He was super nice and I loved that date. Oh my god, it was so fun. The minigame was really interesting. It was kind of like Frogger mixed with like young 20 year olds at a concert. Fun, like nostalgia and like bands blaring at me, music everywhere. It was a lot of fun. I died halfway through, spoiler alert. Oh, uh, you haven't seen that movie, and that, that video yet. Go watch that. Uh, but for now, we're celebrating the fact that Amanda got into her dream school, which I'm so happy for. I love her so much, and I'm glad she got to the school she that she wanted. And now we're out celebrating having a nice burrito by the water. So, Amanda, slow down. You're gonna talk on your burrito. Oh yeah, I ended, I ended this last video on that innuendo. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all their f professional photo editing software for free? Damn, like, uh, Photoshop and uh, Elements and all that stuff? That's pretty cool. I'm proud. It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I'd taught her to chew her with her mouth closed. Oh, she's just excited. Come on, you can let her, you can let that slide for now. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interests. Damn, that's super cool. I don't know of any schools that do that. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Oh, I'm talking about Craig again. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I'm just kidding. We didn't have a we didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was the puppy that Craig bought some bought, brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cop that, that uh, sounded exactly like a dog's bark, huh? That's, uh, pretty, uh, pretty convincing, not gonna oh. lie. Carl ruled that <laughs> you named your dog Carl. Ooh, they let you have an animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit, or maybe a snake. Uh, how about neither? Yeah, if you get both, then the snake will eat the rabbit. Oh boy, I think I'll leave that all up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real, real for a second. Why are, you be, why are you gonna be real? So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Uh -huh. Wait, talk with Mr. Vega? Oh, and I went to the school, right? He was worried about her. I don't want to put a hamp- I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park with these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. Yeah, for sure. Like, seniors, anybody in school watching this, don't slack off your senior year. I did it and it fucked me over majorly. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Aw, this is a nice bonding moment. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to, to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Oh, like that show we've been watching. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Oh, she's so nice. Oh, my daughter, I'm gonna cry. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Oh my god, stop, please. Oh, dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, pr very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person, and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop, you're gonna make me cry too. Stop! Everybody's crying! It's too late, honey! It's happening! <laughs> Dad! I can't get tears in my burrito! It's gonna make it taste bad! Oh, it's gonna make it taste salty. I pull him in and for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. <sighs> Love you, kiddo. Love you too, pops! Ah, it's so nice and heartfelt. Guys. Welcome. Whoa, what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm back on Dad book? Huh. What should I do? Should I continue pursuing Matt? I mean, I feel like that's the most obvious choice here. Um, let's keep going, I guess. Did anything change? Will this game just keep going on? Like, is there an end to this point? Like, can I only go a certain amount of dates before the game ends? I'm gonna go with Matt. I feel like I've already chosen this. This is the path I decided to go for. I'm gonna keep doing it. Let's go with Matt again. Okay, tip number 57. If light gives you lemons, parsley, onion, and eggs. Oh, I didn't get to finish reading that. Oh, well. I don't even know what the life makes if you get all that stuff. Look here before a beef, you're in the clear. Wait, that's a beef? All right. All right. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today anyway. Amanda! 
Meta sticks her head out of her room. Father! Wanna go to the coffee spoon? Yeah. Oh, so you, get, so you get called cool once? Now you're the cool dad who hangs out at coffee shops and listens to Neo Jazz and stuff? What the fuck is Neo Jazz? Please explain yourself. Amanda, are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Yo, I'm not, but I would totally do that in real life. Bitch, are you serious? I love working on poetry. Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Oh, she's thinking. Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. Oh my god, she's so my daughter. I love her so much. Whoa, whoa what is Pablo doing here? Okay, so Amanda and I make the short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. There's a few people hanging out and reading books in the cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar, pierced face. Hey! You were the dude I yelled at a bunch of, at a bunch the other night, huh? Amanda casts a sideways glance at me. Uh-oh. You try to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? Dad. This is my daughter, Amanda, the person I am a father to and I'm very protective of. Oh, ho, ho. I'm not pulling any punches right now. And I don't make your acquaintance. My name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? I wouldn't call witch house music. I wouldn't call witch house music, but okay. Aww. Damn, she is giving them the side eye. A person blow to my ego. They're not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. Yo, fuck off. My innate diet tends to tingle. I am over I'm overwhelmed with a fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. Uh... What? Lines from Taken? Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna change the subject. Fuck all that. Anyways, Pablo, I didn't know you worked here. Oh, yeah, man. Today's my first day. Matt's still training me. Rub. Oh, Matt's here. Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high-five as fellow cool people do. Oh, my God. I was so corny. I see you met my newest employee. At your service. Although I am only here until Bacon Vale starts their world tour. God, I fucking hate this dude. He's trying to get up on my business. When's that? In my business, I mean Matt. <laughs> well, we have to put out a record first. All right, Pablo. Now, what do we do with customers again? Right, yes. Pablo clears, clears his throat. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? A smashing pumpkin la spice latte, please. Oh, that's Amanda. Sorry. Wrong voice. A classic. And you? What should I order? Oh, God. Uh, decaf for cutie? I actually kind of like that one. Americano football. Father John. I don't want a decaf, though. Father John Misto. I'll go Americano football. Americano football, please. Our coffee is as strong as that band's feelings. Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, uh, American football is a sport, but it's also this emo band that made a good album, and then waited over a decade and then made another good album. And their music was very sad, and sometimes featured sad trumpets. Hey, yeah. And I'm over-explaining the joke again. Oh, he's so cute. I'll explain it. It's fine. Coming right up! Pablo gets to work on making our drinks while Matt observes him. He'll get the hang of it. For as goofy as a dude he is, he kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should, we should hang out again. Hell yes. Ah, you give me a hell yes! Ooh, he wants me! Okay! I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple hours and was going to go record shopping. Want to come along? <gasps> oh, yes! Ah! Pablo grabs our drinks and Amanda buries herself in her laptop. I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me that he had trouble hanging out with other people. But for some reason, he and I can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Oh my god, of course I do! He's wonderful and lovely and I love him! Okay, once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Hey. Have you ever been here before? No, I mean, we have a record player sitting on the living room. In the living room, sorry. But all I have are two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. What is that? Hey. Oh, this should be fun then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. Oh, Matt, you're the all the good stuff I need. Please, let me tell you. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people still buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? There's a lot of people that who still who will try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer, or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Oh, okay, I, I respect that. Like, c 
collecting something is more like about the like the pursuit of the pursuit of it than uh, like actually having it. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> I don't know if I explained it that well. It's cool that in this day and age we have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. But there's something about ha holding an album, and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I'll that'll, that'll always love. Yeah, yeah. That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and would have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we could record our favorite songs? Yo, I remember people people, people doing that. It made each listen really special and mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Now you just make a playlist. I think, I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. God damn, that was like 12 years ago for this guy. I look around the multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, Anarcho-Punk. Whoa. Okay, Nunsploitation? <laughs> what? Is that real? Wait, 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 is that even a real thing? I have to look that up later, because that sounds awesome if it is. I have no idea where to even start. Man, this is a little overwhelming. Hey. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Uh, is this a personality quiz all of a sudden? Um, okay. Cookies and cream, vanilla, strawberry, or purple. Okay, purple's not even a real fucking flavor. Strawberry is not that good. Vanilla is just fine. Cookies and cream for sure. If you could try, if you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh god, daffodil, camouflage, summer breeze, definitely not that. Spring Creek fireball, power violence, cherry blossom. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Um, let's go with power violence, cherry blossom. That one sounds nice. What's your favorite ambient sound? Rain, bowling alley, Star Trek bridge ambience, or howls of the bone chorus? Okay, definitely not, not these last two. I'll say rain. What's your favorite dream vacation spot? My backyard inside an active volcano? Definitely not that, because that kills people. Come on. I'm living off the fat of the land in Ibiza, starting a new life in the Baltics. Um, I hate all of these, but let's go with the Baltics. What's your deepest, darkest fear? I worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. Oh, it's a little close to home, actually, now that I think about it. I fear that I don't deserve happiness and won't ever get it. Oh, God. What if nobody exists but me and I've fabricated this universe? Okay, that's a little far-fetched. Saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy your food. Okay, these are just, like, funny. These ones are actually real. Uh, <laughs> um, let's go with... I worry that people are only nice to me because they want something from me. Hmm. Matt, thanks for a moment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know just the thing. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. He shows it to me. This is R A at music by Killer Mike. Sounded like you wanted something, wanted some mean stuff. This album was actually produced by ELP, so you could technically consider it the prede predecessor to all of the Run of the Jewel stuff they've been doing. I don't know what any of that means, but if you think I like it, then I'll take it. Well, dude, thanks for the recommendation. You're gonna have a great time with it. Promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. You chill stuff today, Matt. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm Good at This by Diet Sig, Forever by Mystery Skulls, and Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. I don't know what any of that is. Matt is too far out there for me, but you know what? I can learn. I can learn about all this weird, like, fringe music. I don't mind. Tight. The cashier brings Matt up and hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? Bitch! Killer, killer, killer. That nerd is my buddy Rob. Rob, this speaking of human charm is Molly. Well, of course her name is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Charmed, I'm sure. Anyway, Matt, is the open mag night still on? You know it. Are they at the third wave's gonna do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's no big mic night going on? Yeah, dude. We do it every month at the Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. Yo, I should go to that! Hey, yeah, I'm gonna do that for sure. Matt, don't you worry. Matt blushes. <gasps> oh my god, he's blushing! Oh, why is he blushing? I mean, if you're not doing anything. Will Vacant Bale be playing? If only. I finish paying for my record and we head out of the store. Yo, Matt, for you, I'll do anything. Please, don't even worry about it. 
Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since fans had shag carpeting. Mm. Ew, god, gross. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important to me, not only in what I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's, no mu there's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. All that stuff. And listening to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. That's so poetic. I mean, I think about that stuff too all the time. Like, there are always songs I listen to now that remind me of where I was when I first listened to them. Yeah, now that I think about it, even the pop concert Amanda and made me take her to is special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. Hey. And then even that, and then that even reminds me of a younger me, going to see my favorite bands in concert with my with all my friends. We would always go to my favorite to my friend Cynthia's Chapman. Wow, can I read, please? Sorry. So full dis full disclosure here. I am doing this right after my last dream I did, where I drank a whole bottle of Moscato. So like, I'm still feeling like a little tipsy, and like, I know I'm not that bad, that great at reading words and stuff, but oh my god, I'm terrible right now. I'm so sorry. All right, we would always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. I smoked pot? Oh my god, I'm a delinquent. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt Thompson thinks for a moment. It's been decades. Okay, he's cool. He's cool. I love him. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what the kids call it these days? Mm. I don't know. Oh. But I bet I can find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Mm -hmm. I don't think I should. Oh. Say no to drugs. Nah, man. I think I'm good. Hey. It uh, It's a little juvenile, I guess. Let's just go back to my place and listen to them. <gasps> Oh, 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 oh my god, we're in his place! Oh my god! Okay, I haven't been in a guy's house since Robert. Oh my god, it's been so long! Alright, Matt and I walk back to the cul-de-sac and head into his house. I hope he isn't bummed about the no-weed thing. We sit and listen through the side diet stick album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmen Cheetah growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Man. Oh, that's Rosa. She was Carmen Tita's mother. Oh, she died when Carmen Tita was young. Oh, damn, it's gonna get real all of a sudden. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again. Weird that there are two dads in this cult sack that have both lost their spouses at young ages. But you know what? I'm not gonna question it. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging on the wall. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness to Dancing. Look, looks like they played the Sound Garden over a decade ago. Were you two in a band together? Uh, yeah, that was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole, world, we traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow, that seems really. That seems like a life some people only dream of. It was. It was difficult at the time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing our family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. Oh. So once she became pregnant with Carmen Cita, we put down roots in our favorite town to play in. Right here. Oh, they, they stay here in Maple Bay, huh? Wait a minute. So this guy is not gay? Or what am I supposed to glean from that? Since she was a kid, Rosa, Rosa always had a dream to own her quiet little coffee shop. She uh, died before it opened. Oh, that's sad. I'm so sorry. Oh. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Oh, this is really complicated, hey. huh? Matt gets, up, Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Um, uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Oh yeah? I fronted the hottest seven piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. Hey. Oh god. Ska? No way. You got a ska phase? Oh, let's not talk about it. Phase? Ska never dies. Oh my god. Except for Ska Minus Manifesto, who broke up after their senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Hey. 
Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh man, let's see if I still got it. Am I gonna play the piano? Okay, I sit down at the piano. Uh, stick to your ska roots. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> let's go ska. Hey, I think I'm going. I think I'm doing it. I'm playing ska. Wait, that was the smoke on the water. Oh, what? Matt, I forgot how to play. The deep purple is always appreciated, nonetheless. All right, buddy, can you top that? I uh, I shouldn't. Ah, oh, come on. No, I'm. It's been a long time. Not since Rosa died, huh? Should I drop it? Uh, I'm gonna egg him on a little bit. I think we were close enough in this relationship. Matt, you just had through a butchered version of Deep Purple Smoke on the Smoke on the Water. How much worse can it be? Matt starts at the piano for a second. Okay. I'm. Whoa! Whoa! I saw eggplants. I saw fucking eggplants. Okay. I'm. Uh. Okay. Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the keys. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. If I didn't know what he, that he hadn't played the piano in a long time, I would never have guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I've never heard this before. Is this one of the? Was this one of his original works? This is so cool. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. How was that? That was amazing. Oh, it's nothing. Yo! Please, you are making me fall in love with you even more right now. Jesus Christ, you are beautiful, sir. Come on, man, that was killer. Are you gonna pull that out for the open mic night? Oh no, I never play at those. Well, why not? You're really good. It's just, I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. Ah, yo, Matt, oh my God, I'll play with you. It's okay. I can sense that Matt's getting uncomfortable at the, at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. All right, man. But I hope you know that how I hope you know how beautiful your music is. The thanks. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide that I need to get to bed. Matt walks me out oh. to the door. Night, dude. I smile. Night. Aw, that was so adorable! Ah, I love that so much. All right, let's keep going. I walk inside and the house is dark. Stay for the silver of, sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Oh. What's going on? I knock, I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera editing, editing photos. Hey, Amanda! Amanda slips around in her chair to face me and slumps down. So, what's up? Dad, I'm hungry. Um, wait, no. Hi, hungry. Oh, God. I hate myself right now. No, I'm dead. Oh, I just killed her. She's dead. <laughs> she collapsed on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let her come to this. Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spike it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Eh? Oh, God. All right. Amanda and I boil pasta and heat up sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. How is record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Huh? No way. Was he good? I don't know if, he, if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. Hey. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he should play at the open mic night. That's happening in this coffee shop. But he got kind of weird oh. about it. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of tunes oh. there. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. Oh my god, you play glockenspiel? Yo, you're totally my daughter. I think I only know glo uh, hot cross buns, but we can work off some of the record progression. All right. Okay, um, should I end the video here? Uh, I don't think it's going to go on for that much longer. We can keep it going. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do for photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They're staging an intervention for the house hunter, who's crying uncontro uncontrollably over the co color of the walls. <laughs> oh my god. They know they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? That song is stuck in my head all night. Oh. That song is stuck in my head. That's so cute. <gasps> they complete! What did I get? What all this stuff mean? Proud parent, handyman, cool ska, oregano, and nug. Yeah, a B? What else could I have done? What am I doing wrong? Somebody tell me. Ugh. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll just end it here. All right. So in the next one, we're going to keep going. I don't know what's further on to do in this game. Hey, King of Carol Flowers. Oh, Carrot Flowers. What's all this carrot shit? All right. 
Well, it's been a long day. I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you being here. And I'll see you guys um, next time, whenever that is. Thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye!